السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقه قولي ویلکم بیک ڈیئر بردرز اینڈ سسٹرز آفٹر شارٹ بریک الحمدللہ وی ار بیک آن یور پاتھ سو ان اور پریویس لیسن وی ہیڈ ڈن نمبرس ہاؤ وی یوز ٹو میسکولین آبجیکٹس وی یوز فیمینائن نمبرس ٹو ڈسکرائب اینڈ how we use for feminine objects we use masculine numbers that's a little bit uh, unique way of describing in arabic so we just need to practice and get used to it inshallah today's topic as you see we've kept as mamnu min as-sarf which means dip toes so we're going to learn and revise about dip toes today inshallah so before we go what we're going to do is we're going to just do a simple verb practice today we are going to do a different kind of verb and which is most common verb what you find in Quran when you open it and it's called Qala Qala it is a three letter verb but if you see here it says Alif it's a mud so it's a different type of verb so we will be conjugating this but not to the complete extent so Qala means he said Hua Qala so this normal conjugation what we do Huma Qala so Alif Muthanna we add here the dual so they both male said hum qalu qalu wow represents hum and alif is the uh, it's a spelling rule so all of them said hiya qalat means she said hiya qalat huma qalata they both female said so from hunna as we know hunna acts in a very different way the things will change inshallah we're going to learn in book two which is very very soon we just uh, a uh, one chapter away from book 2 inshallah so we'll just practice qala huwa qala huma qala hum qalu hiya qalat she said huma qalata we're going to learn about less uh, colors as well today in our lesson today so just give you a brief introduction to colors so red is called ahmaru ahmar So when you when you're talking you just say ahmar but the actual word will be ahmaru with a dhamma single dhamma blue is called azraqu azraqu green is called akhdaru akhdaru and yellow is called asfaru asfaru and white is called abyadu abyadu white is called abyadu and black is called aswadu what's called aswadu so we got ahmaru azraqu akhtaru asfaru abyadu and aswadu these are the colors just remember before we go to our main lesson so coming to the nouns so we know most of the nouns in the natural state they've got tanween and it is double tanween this is uh, uh, dhamma So, but when it comes to mansub and majroor, we know that it can become tanween fatha and tanween kasra. However, when the nouns, they can have a single dhamma when, under certain conditions, when we have al attached to it, then kitabun will become al kitabu. But naturally, it will be having double dhamma. But because of al, that one dhamma is lost and it becomes al kitabu. We also know that when it becomes mudaf, what happens kitabun will become kitabu so mudaf cannot take tanween or it cannot take al and we also learn when there is a harf nida ya and the noun after which always will always have a single dhamma so ustazun will become ya ustazu so these are the ways where a noun with double tanween turns into a uh, takes a single dhamma there are however nouns which can never have tanween in the natural state they have only one dhamma these are called diptors or in arabic what we call al mamnu min as sarf so these are mamnu min as sarf the nouns which take only single vowel sign and also these are the wow, uh, nouns which don't take a kasra in the majroor form that's another speciality of this in the majroor form like muhammadun muhammadan muhammadin here uh, in the mamnu min as-sarf like ahmadu ahmada ahmada so they take only fatha in the majroor form so we're going to learn it about in the next lessons so in this lesson inshallah we'll be doing about the 
marfu forms so what are these mamnu minasarf in this book we have learned about eight patterns of mamnu minasarf so we just going to summarize everything so we get a good practice of this so first what we learned was that the feminine proper nouns they end with single dhamma whether it is with tamarbuta or without tamarbuta if it is a feminine name it will have a, a single dhamma like aminatu or zainabu then we know that certain masculine nouns they have tamarbuta and they will have a single dhamma like hamzatu talhatu usamatu so these are the masculine nouns with having tamarbuta we know the tamarbuta is sign of femininity but uh, these are the exceptions and also any masculine proper noun ending with alif and nun an like usman ramadan so these pattern nouns they are also have a single dhamma we don't say usmanun we say usmanu and also there are certain patterns where we have done that uh, any adjectives like uh, jawanu kathlanu the pattern of faalanu ghadabanu rahmanu these are all having single dhamma they are all diphthongs or mamnu minas sarf these are the adjective patterns of faalanu and the next thing what we learned was the certain proper nouns with the pattern of afalu like ahmadu anwaru amjadu so these are the nouns which are having a single dhamma they are in a pattern like afalu so if you see a noun with this pattern we know that it is a mamnu minas sarf and the patterns of colors because the colors normally describe an object so they are comes as adjectives and they are if they are on a pattern of afalu then it is diphthong like aswadu ahmaru is red aswadu is black like azraqu akhdaru asfaru all these are mamnu min as-sarf and we also know that non arabic proper names they are also diphthong like williamu Londonu Pakistan these are all non arabic names then all the names the prophets they are all non arabic names so they are all diphthongs and uh, finally what we did was we did uh, learn about plurals and we learn quite a few patterns which follow the pattern of mamnu min as-sarf few of those are af'ilau like asdiqau aghniyau so single dhamma is a sign of diphthong in a natural state and you know fu'ala'u so see single dhamma and what are the patterns there fuqara'u zumala'u wuzara'u these are all mamnu min as-sarf and there are two more patterns which are very most commonly used these are called mafa'ilu and mafa'ilu see mafa'ilu and mafa'ilu so these are the two patterns which are mamnu min as-sarf so masajidu fanadiqu is mafa'ilu pattern and manadilu mafatihu is the pattern of mafailu these are also mamnu min as-sarf these are the certain categories of mamnu min as-sarf where the nouns in their majrur forms they don't take kasra and in the natural state they've got only one dhamma so this is the main thing to remember so let's going to our main lesson lesson number 22 from madina book 1 so it's a kind of a essay just we're going to analyze and uh, inshallah we can understand all the words and letters in this lesson inshallah so if we say hamidun tabibun so lesson number 1 said so hamid is a doctor so khabar mubtada and khabar hamid is mubtada tabibun is khabar one word indefinite zawjatuhu what is this combination zawjatuhu zawj means husband a male we can see ta here that means it's a feminine it's a wife zawjatu who is the mir muttasil attached so his wife mudaf mudaf ilahi combination zawjatu who his wife mudarrisatun so why tun because it is describing muzawjatu so mudarrisatun his wife is a teacher ismuha her name ha is again the mir muttasil describing zawjatu that's why we have ha aminatu say aminatu is diphthong اسمها آمنة حامد again مبتدا so here if you put a line so make it separate so we got another sentence here لهو what is لهو is حرف جر and اسم مجرور جار مجرور شبو جملة خبر مقدم so where is the مبتدا is أربعة so we know 
Number three to ten is a pattern of mudaf mudaf ilahi. So we have arbaatu, then there should be a mudaf ilahi. What is mudaf ilahi? Abnaain. So arbaatu abnaain. He has four children. So this sentence is coming as a khabar for Hamidun. So this is a jumla tul ismiya. Is coming as a khabar for Hamid. Hamid has four children. They are whom? They are Hamzatu. See, it's not Hamzatun. The khabar one word has to be indefinite, but in the indefinite form. So Hamzatu wa Uthmanu wa Ahmadu wa Ibrahimu. Ahmadu wa Hamzatu. Talibani. See, Talibani. So Alif is a sign of marfu because it's a dual. You know, ani and aini and aini. Ani is marfu form of dual. So we're describing two nouns here. Ahmadu wa Hamzatu Talibani. Those two are students. Ahmadu Talibun Mujtahidun. See? Ahmadun Talibun Mujtahidun. What is Mujtahidun? So if it's the same case endings, similar in all the uh, uh, forms. So it is a naat. So we describe as Ahmad is a hardworking student. Wahamzatu Talibun Kaslanu. See, it's not Kaslanun. It is Kaslanu. So this is coming as a naat. So here we should not get confused. Normally they have the same pattern. But now we know because it is Bamnu Aminasab doesn't take Tanween. But it still is coming as a naat for a indefinite noun. So Wahamzatu Talibun Kaslanu. See, Kaslanu. Qala Yusufu. See, Qala is a verb, is a fa'al. So we are looking for a fa'al. So it is, you have to look a noun with the dhamma. So can you see a marfu here? Dhamma. So yes, it is marfu Yusufu. So how do we translate? We say Yusuf said. Qala Yusufu is Yusuf said. In the khamsatu aqlamin. In the khamsatu aqlamin. So we know 3 to 10. Mudaf, mudaf ilayhi. And mudaf the uh, the noun which is being counted is in a plural form. So, in the is zarf mudaf ilayhi. I have khamsa to five pens. So, and he's telling hada this is qalamun. Hada qalamun is a mubtada khabar. So, what is ahmaru? It is naat. So, what is ahmar? It is red. So, this is a red pen. Wahada qalamun azraku. This is a blue pen. Wahada qalamun akhdaru. See, qalamun akhdaru. So, double dhamma and single dhamma. So, that's a combination. But this is a naat describing qalam. So, we always translate naat first and then the man'ud. So, this is a green pen. And wahada qalamun aswadu. It is, this is a black pen. Wahada qalamun asfaru. This is a yellow pen. Qalat. See here. Qalat tawtani si. Again, this is a fa'il. So we have to look for the fa'il. So look for the word with the dhamma, with the marfu. And we see here zainabu. It's not zainaba, it's zainabu. So this is how we say this is a fa'il. So we say zainabu said. Zainabu said what she said. In the I have zarf mudaf ilahi. Manadilu. See, you have to look for the patterns. Manadilu. What the pattern here is? Mafailu. Kathiratun. See, now we have to put our Kullu Jama Mawannas uh, knowledge here. So, Manadilu is Ghair Aqil. Jam'u. Jam'u Ghair Aqil. So, when we describe, we use, consider this as a bint. So, we say Kathiratun. Kathiratun. We have lots of handkerchiefs. Hada, this is. See, now we have Hada because we are telling about one. Mindilun. Mindilun is masculine, but when it becomes jam'u, it becomes like a feminine. So we are describing one handkerchief. We say, Hada abiyadu. This is white. Wahada asfaru. And this is yellow. Wahada ahmaru. Ahmaru is red. This is red. Wahada azraku. Azraku is blue. Wahada akhdaru. Akhdaru is green. So, and again, Qalat laha Fatimatu. So now we have to look for the file. So Qalat, so we are seeing Tawtanisi, we are looking for the file. So laha is Jar Majroor. So 
la is uh, harf jar and ha is isma so that is not file fatima tu see damma so now we know how do we translate fatima tu said to her is harf jar li is to her to whom to zainabu khalat laha fatima tu a in the ki a is harf istifam in the is zarf and ki is mudaf ilayhi so we know it is ki because it is talking about a feminine so she is asking do you have a in the ki mindilun aswadu see mindilun aswadu a black handkerchief qalat she said la no ma in the see we use ma as a harf nafi as a negation we say no no i don't have so ma in the so if she had to say in i have she just say in the naam in the but we say no then you have to say first say no and then you have to negate la ma in the mindilun aswadu no i don't have black handkerchief then qala talhatu see again fa'il fa'il so we know it's damma to so, talha said in the i have mafatihu again look for the pattern it's jam'u ghayr aqil and the pattern of mafailu in the mafatihu kathiratun so again the naat is describing like a female kullu jam'a mu'annath kathiratun so then when you have to talk about single then we use a masculine demonstrative pronoun so hada miftahul ghurfati see this is a key of room is a mudaf mudaf ilayhi wa hada miftahul haqibati this is the key of garden wa hada miftahus sayyarati so we know we know even if there is no vowel sign we know it is a mudaf ilayhi will always have kasra so wa hada miftahus sayyarati so this is the key of car so this is how we describe so this was the lesson uh, one more final sentence sorry so qala sufyan see sufyan so we have heard in hadith in law sahabi you know sufyan so we know it is a diphthong now qala sufyan fi baladina in our country in our country masajidu wa madarisu again look for the pattern masajidu this is a pattern of mafailu so previously we did manadilu is like mafailu here we have masajidu is mafailu wa madarisu wa madarisu kathiratun so again kathiratun is describing both masajidu and madarisu because it is connected with waw ataf and madarisu is called mawtufun ala masajidu and this kathiratun is telling about both there are lots of masjid and schools wa and fanadiq qalilatun and hotels fun funduqun means hotel fanadiq means hotels and few hotels qalilatun why qalilatun again kullu jama' mu'annas jam'u ghayru aqil so we describe it as a feminine single noun and now he is asking aha ulai atibba'u or these doctors atibba remember atibba is actually af ila u atibba so because the ba is repeating we say join the ba this is atibba doctors say la hum mudarrisuna see this is jama mudakkar salim wow is a sign of plural okay no they are teachers mudarrisuna and hum ulama u see ulama u fuqara u remember the pattern ulama u so that is the diphthong they are kibarun yeah ulama u kibarun means like big scholars big professors you can say so that is the lesson on diphthong inshallah so in our next lesson which will be our final lesson on book 1 and uh we'll be doing the mansub and majrur forms of diphthongs so now and we can understand inshallah so just practice this and remember a noun with a single na single damma is most of the time diphthong and we have to look for the patterns and look for the signs
السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ